I spoke about like how I uh, climbed the climbed from the uh, window uh, from my uh, uh, parents' room and landed on that uh, AC platform and I wanted to jump out like Mary Poppins and all that and I also spoke about uh, yeah how I sat inside the fish aquarium and my dad had to pick me up and also yeah i even said that um i was uh, like sitting on the fig tree and uh, like eating the figs and reading archie's comics during the afternoon hours when no one was watching me and i used to come down from the tree whenever i was feeling hungry so uh, yeah yeah so yes i i spoke about all those things right and did i tell you like you know like uh, uh, once uh, i i had taken all my friends and uh, like uh, we had gone behind the uh, uh, like how our uh, flats were like these were the flats these were all the flats line by line and behind the flats there was an empty space it was uh, basically some kind of garden or something and um, yes it was an empty space with some gardening and all and after the after some like uh, yeah there was like 20 to 30 feet of gardening over there and after that there was a huge fence and till date i don't know what was over the fence <laughs> yeah and um, uh, we don't know how big our campus was frankly uh, for us only our school and uh, my parents hospitals mom dad's hospital and that small uh, a provision store uh, which was inside the uh, compound that was the only uh, information and um, basically like what we did i grabbed all i took all my friends and um, what do you say i just took them behind the buildings it was somewhere around three in the afternoon and we were walking uh, behind the buildings without coming in front of the building uh, the front of the uh, flats was where you could uh, see whose house was whose and all that but basically walking behind the flats you have no idea of what uh, where you are going so we were walking in one direction continuously there were a lot of trees a lot of gardens we were going going walking walking we walked for about an hour yeah i guess we walked for about an hour and um, after an hour we decided to just come out of that back side of the flat and just go uh, front and see where we are and by surprise we just we were we were a bunch of seven to eight kids led by me and uh, we just went to the front of the flats and it was an industrial area can you imagine we as kids i was i was i guess six years or something six or seven eight seven years or something yeah Mm, and uh, we were going there and uh, we just came front and there was so much industrial there's something round round spiral uh, structures and uh, all those things it was really a new place it was like we have come uh, somewhere outskirts i have no idea how we even went there because basically uh, the flats that i knew was basically residential uh, family or like yeah hospital school or something like that but i never had an idea that uh, uh, i would come across such industrial spears and spiral structures and all that and it was like you know it was like uh, whenever we used to go out uh, for the uh, shopping on that highways uh, in the morning time so that was the scene there like basically the highway was either side of the highway was a desert and just imagine some spiral structures in in the desert just uh, surrounded by some compound it was so weird and we were we all freaked out especially like i was like i as a kid i never freaked out that was the best part hmm. i thought that okay this is not the place and for me um, the main uh, motto was to get them back safely home so what i told them uh, i think we had bunch of small kids also <laughs> 
younger to me and equal to my age so what i did i gathered all of them and uh, told them uh, not to panic and we will walk back in the same direction as we came in and we have no watches we had watches yeah okay yeah but i don't remember telling the timing but i thought i just said them that we will just keep on wa- walking back in the same direction mm, uh, until we see just keeping a peep in the front you know like uh, you know how it is there is a building here and there is a building here so you can see the gap here so as you are passing by you can see the gaps and see in the front like if it is familiar or not so we we just walked back in the same direction and uh, frankly we missed two three times we was like it was familiar we, we came out and um, again we came to know it was not familiar we came back to the track uh, it was a big risk i was doing crazy stuff frankly as a kid and um, finally i have no idea we just reached some familiar home which one of the kid knew i guess i didn't know and that he or she told me uh, this is the way to the other flats known flats so we came i think we were lost for about 3 4 hours uh, our parents didn't see us in the park so how it was like uh, there were like four flats uh, facing uh, like facing a circle okay you can imagine that and in that circle there is a park uh, it's like a kids area so basically all our parents used to uh, see us uh, through the windows that we are present in the kids area so once we they came to know that we weren't there and we were missing so they all panicked and they were already outside waiting for all of us so each parent grabbed their kid and was like shouting and scolding and all that my my mom was like about to hit me only like where did you go you people are lost it was already getting dark uh, so it was crazy that was one of the experience i used to love to go behind the flats because i don't know it used to be little lonely i can't explain how beautiful it was but uh, it was a bit lonely and you know as a kid when your parents or elders tell you not to do something you'll always have that curiosity to do that only so whenever as i told like from my school timings my parents timings were not like together i used to be alone at home not knowing what to do so i used to get out of the home and walk behind the buildings and just see them i have no idea god was really great he used to always uh, save me from any mishaps which was about to happen i used to go behind the buildings in the afternoon it was never night because my parents used to be back by evening so that happens in the afternoon or uh, morning so something like that you can think um yeah so i used to go back behind the buildings and uh, you know in e during e the someone used to say that uh, they used to chop the heads of the goats behind the buildings okay behind the flats in a small well so uh, so i i don't know where i heard that information and i went in search of that well <laughs> it was a very small well it was it was like uh it was just a feet feet and a half or something width and all dimensions you know diameter um yeah uh, so i went to that uh, well and i was peeping inside like what is that it was so dark and uh, it was so dark and this and i used to just come off and i used to walk behind the flats and they used to say like you know uh, the souls of the goats will be there and all that so all these things actually you know interested me i used to always uh, feel like uh, yeah what is there yeah that and this so i used to do that also as a kid and um we had much fun we had a lot of fun and uh, there was so many things like that yes so i remembered few of the instances that i did in my school and um, yeah i our school platform was at this level okay and uh, below that there were like small small huts after some staircase and everything so what i used to do 
uh, whenever I used to like uh, when my father or my neighbor uncle would come and pick me up. So that time what they used to do like uh, if, if they were late, um, you know generally the school when all the kids are gone it will be kind of empty empty. So that was the time like I used to wait outside. And I don't know when this place caught my eye, it was uh, small, small, yeah, small houses at some level. So our school, I just went to further to some distance and I got down the steps and went inside those small, small huts kind of thing. And it was all empty, black, but I have no idea. I don't know why it was black and empty and broken and... Um, Mm. And I remember there were like broken eggs inside uh, inside few of the houses. I just walked back and again like I heard someone calling me from <clears throat> above me and suddenly I came out and came out and came. So these are the crazy stuffs that I have done and uh, frankly still date I don't remember. Uh, our school playground I told you the ground was at level uh, zero and... Um, about that the trees were at level one and uh, about that I have no idea I don't remember I would really I I I I would really love to know what was behind beyond those places because uh, we we as kids the the teachers used to tell us not to go uh, further to this distance and that distance and all that. So what happened, I used to go there and uh, see the trees and um, what do you say, yeah, I used to climb up there and try to see beyond the trees, frankly I don't remember that much and uh, one crazy stuff I've done uh, with my classmate is that um, there was a small lake over some of the long um, plant so in that small lake as we were playing I have no idea it was like you know you won't even know it is a lake or a land so that much confusing it was it was all covered with some greenery so you have no idea whether it is a land or a lake so I'm not sure I was so uh, curious to know and I, I but I didn't wanted to go but uh, one of my friend was just standing there and I'm not sure he was just standing there and I, I pushed him <laughs> inside that and um, he just fell inside and that was bad on me but uh, yeah I did all this stuff and uh, it was a water it was a lake basically and they had to lift him up and all that so it was not so dangerous but that is what I did uh, there were other uh, crazy stuffs you know I used to always uh, get attracted towards all these mystery, mysterious places. Some people tell me not to, like, don't do this, but I would be like, it's not like to go against them, but uh, something like, uh, what may be at the other end? What would be at the other end? So all those things. So, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I had done all this. So basically as a kid I was very uh, charismatic, very naughty in the class, very jolly, very bubbly girl and all that. My name was only bubbly in the class so you can imagine I used to make my friends laugh so much. They used to fall down from the table itself. I used to always be punished outside the class because I was a prankster in the class. I used to always go be below the tables of my friends and uh, as if my rubber or shapna has fallen down and um, uh, as if my rubber shapna has fallen down and um, I just go beyond, beyond below the desks and talk to my friends and I used to be always put out of the class with my face turned towards the wall and um, there also I used to <laughs> act like funny and my friends used to laugh so much so if someone of my friends watches this video, they can really relate to this. Oh, sorry. <laughs> relate to all these things. So basically, childhood was the best, best time of my life. I used to always pick up my cycle, just go out. And it was a beautiful community. I used to play with my friends. 
I used to spend nice time. I have done roller skating also. I have done cycling also. I have done many things. I have learned cycle in a very tough way, but I have learned that. So, <laughs> yeah, it was the best part. Childhood, I can uh, cannot even forget because uh, that was the moment of my life which was so very happy. So free of mind, no guilt, no heaviness, no sadness for that matter. I never knew what was sadness. It was a complete happiness. Um, it was so light. It was so beautiful. My life was only the school, my friends in the school, my friends near my uh, flat, my parents, my sister. Uh, yeah, m frankly, I didn't have that much interaction with my family as I had with my friends because as I said, like, 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. was my school and uh, uh, I used to come back to home by 1 p.m. and till 5 p.m. I'm alone like yeah my parents were in there and as I told my sister was in India most of the time and by 5.30 once they come by 5.30 I used to have some snacks and by 5.30 I was out of the house like playing with my friends 5.30 to 7.30 sometimes till 8 o'clock <clears throat> I used to play with my friends, uh, spend so much of time there uh, with my friends and all. So I used to come back home, do my homework, eat food and sleep. So this was basically my uh, routine most of the time. And uh, yeah, during uh, some those weekends like Thursday, Friday and everything, I used to go, um, yeah, I used to go like, um, <laughs> Yeah, uh, we used to all go for shopping and go to the beach. So it was a very simple and beautiful life. So uh, what I would say to the people is like, uh, yeah, maybe <clears throat> your childhood, you may be going through. Nowadays, this generation is a lot of pressure. Like you should get good marks. You should uh, be a topper of the class. You should do this. You should do that. So many expectations around you. But one thing, remember, um, now in all, in my part 1 and part 2 that I had spoken, I never spoke about my academics. Yes, I was a very good student because my mom used to make me sit and study, study, study. But I used to have fun more than the time, hours that I read. So, uh, yeah, whatever. <clears throat> First and foremost, don't be under any pressure so just be happy because that childhood even now i feel you know with the routine that i have like i just want to go back to those days but i cannot go it can be in the next life only so we don't know about that so please cherish your current childhood if you are like <clears throat> you need to one sec now no yeah this is right <laughs> you need to you know cherish that childhood of yours yeah maybe there are a lot of pressures but please remember maybe through this video i'm saying but uh, that childhood never comes back so it needs to be the most memorable because once you reach your adulthood it's always about duties responsibilities and all that so that childhood i'm talking at the till age of 10 10 years or something, 10, 11 and after that it's high school, college and that. So till the age of 10 years it is a superb time. So cherish your childhood and uh, live up to it and hope this video has given all of you some uh, motivation uh, like you know think about your uh, childhood and move on in life. Until then take care. Bye.